Hi guys, I'm so excited for today's video because we're going to be reviewing the Wet n Wild Flights of Fancy box. I'm probably like, did you get a PR sample? Because this is what all the YouTubers got in PR and I'm like, cut it too in PR. Just kidding. I bought this from Ulta.com for $34.99. It's $35, but I did get 20% off. So I got this for $30 and it's so gorgeous. Mine got beaten up and that's okay. It's so pretty. It's like hollow. And this was I'm so happy because my blush fell. Um, I love testing out makeup. So yeah, but before we get into this review, make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up to see more reviews and fun videos mainly based around makeup. So yeah, let's get started with the set. So um, you get three of the color icon like blushes, three of the color icon eyeshadow quads, four of the color icon lip glosses, Two of the Mega Liners, one's metallic. Uh, the Perfect Pout Lip Scrub and their Primer Water Spray thing. So, um, I did calculation. Blushes are, so this box is $34.99. Blushes are $4.99, so $14.97 for all three. But if you do are only, or if you're only interested in the blushes, you can get all three for $10 on their wetandwild.com. Wet the eye quads are $2.99 each, so $8.97 for all four, or three. Uh, the lip glosses are $3.99 each, so $15.97 for all four. Uh, the liquid eyeliners are $2.99 each, so $5.98 for all four. The lip scrub is $3.99, and the primer water is $4.99. So in total, it costs $54.86, so you save $19.87. So basically, you save $20 by buying the set. There are more things to the collection. There are an, there's another liquid eyeliner that's like pink, and then there's also a citrus version of this. But basically, this is it. So I'm really excited. So I'm going to be doing three different looks here. Not really using the primer water unless I need to like work as like a fix plus. I might do a whole separate video using this like this primer water actually work. Um, is inspired by Sophie Does Nails because she does the settings for actually work, and she might do this primer actually work. So I'm going to be testing this out. The brushes I'm using in this video are all Luxie brushes. I have the 249, the 245, and the 514 to use. I have, yeah. So I'm really excited. So let's get into the first look. So the first look, we're going to be starting with the Perfect Pout Lip Scrub in Pecker Up, which is watermelon scented. It looks like this and smells very good and I'm just going to take a little bit lick my lips and scrub my lips it tastes very good I like it my lips feel very good I'm going to put on a little bit of lip balm because that's what I always do after lip scrubs because I feel like if not, it's not always the best, but I got my mirror ready. So let's make up. I'm going to start with the eyeshadow palette. The quad is in stuff. Stop ruffling my feathers. Now stuff is labeled and there's a diagram, but we're going to do it our own way. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush and the transition shade, which is just a matte kind of cool tone brown and I'm gonna kind of apply this I should probably do the other eye okay I'll just turn sides and I'm going to apply this in the transition I did only swatch these and as I noticed the mattes had a lot of fallout or not like, like kickback more no, mainly kickback kickback that's what I meant because I know there's like differences so we're just gonna ignore this huge pimple right there by the way but it did have a lot of kickback which i'm not that mad about but like if you hate it then maybe that's not good but the blending very nicely very pretty pigmented nice transition shade so now we have three shimmery shades right here i'm gonna do them in my own way sorry i'm singing so i'm going to take the crease shade which is a kind of orangey copper and on my fingers because fingers apply best I'm gonna apply this to my 
outer half of my lid and they apply very very well I'm going to actually take this brush spray a little bit of primer water on it and dip into it again to intensify the color to get So that's how it looks, very, really pretty. Now I'm going to go back in with my finger, just apply it on top of the wet layer. So like, it's like three layers. And yes, I know it's a little smudge, we're going to clean it up, it's all good. I should really get my brush cleaning wipes, I'll be right back. So I just cleaned it up a little bit and got a wipe to avoid my brushes. Now I'm going to take the eyelid color, which is like a rose gold on my finger more it'll pass into the inner half of my lid with my finger first i'm going to go in with the brush and the primer spray to intensify oh i really the rose gold looks so gorgeous i have really acne skin right now but like look how pretty that looks like if I wasn't testing out this whole palette, I probably just would put this all over my eyelid like it suggests, but since I wanna use like all the colors. So pretty, I'm gonna go back in with my finger to set it a little. Oh, so gorgeous. I really like the quality of this palette, like look at that. Now you could probably be much fancier than me if you're like more, prof like you have more skills than me, but like, I'm not that. I'm going to take the brown bone, brown bone, brown bone shade, which is just like a kind of shimmery, like pinky champagne, and I'm gonna apply this to my brow bone, like it says. Uh, I probably want to go so pink for the brow bone, and I'm going to put it on the brush. I'll apply into my inner corner. Now I'll just use my finger for the inner corner. And this is what it looks like. Really gorgeous. I actually might one day put like this on the inner corner and that like on the outer. So pretty. I'm not the biggest fan of like orangey shades, but that's how it looks. I'm going to fix it up a little with like the transition shade and do my other eye. I'll be right back. So here we go. I would, it would look better with mascara, but since we're doing three looks, not gonna do that. But I really like how it turns out. I think it's really fun and summery. So this is a good palette. So we're going to go on to the blush. I'm going to take this shade called Don't Flutter Yourself. Love, love, love the packaging. This is a rose gold, which matches the inner, like, part of the lid look. So I'm going to take my blush brush. Now, this could even be used as a highlighter, but I'm not a big pink highlighter fan because I just don't really like pink highlighters. And as I know from swatching these, these are pigmented, like, okay. I don't know, can you see... Can you see? I don't think you can see how good this is. Let me try the other side. It's so pretty. And there's a gold flex to it. This is really, really gorgeous. Really pretty. I would probably layer this on top of a cream blush. But yeah, I like it. I can't really tell on camera how like glowy it is. Kind of. Really, these are really pigmented blushes. I swatched them. And like for five dollars, I think these are really good blushes. Lastly, for this look is lip gloss, and we're gonna take my favorite color from the palette or the collection, which is Pout of Paradise. Like it just looks so pretty. I don't have like bright orange lip glosses. These swatch so pigmentedly, and it's gonna match the orange on our lids. Like look at that. I should come closer to the camera. Feels good. Mm -hmm. I really like this color. Like, it's definitely a really pretty summer color. This is probably one of the most pigmented ones that I swatched. Like, two of them weren't that pigmented. Like, as pigmented as this one. So here we go. Here's the first look. This is like the orangey rose gold kind of look. 
Good the eyes. I can't really close my eyes. Like, it's a weird thing. Lips. Really like this lip gloss. It's on my teeth, but it's fine. So, yeah. This look was super good. Loved mainly everything in it. So, let's take this off and get ready to look number two. Next look, number two. I'm going to take the one called Flock Party. Gorgeous. Again, everything's labeled and colored, but I'm new. So we're going to start off with the same way we did last time. Same brush, but transition color. As you can tell, right there, fall out. I should probably touch closer. Let's see. Yeah. So as you can tell, pretty powdery, the mattes. The last one was okay. This one's more powderier. I actually really like this transition shade because it's very close to my skin tone. Very light. Like, so a little, little bit powdery, but I mean, I really don't care that you get this for $3. Really, I think it's still pretty good. Like it's really blending very well. And I don't even have an eye primer down. As you can tell, the transition color very light. If I need to get more of a crease color, I will dip into the stop ruffling my feathers one but yeah we're going to go in with the shade the eyelid shade who puts gold in their crease can i just um but we're gonna take that and put that on our outer half of the eye start with the finger as you can tell they look pretty and they go on okay on the eyes like But I think they're definitely better with the solutions. We're going to go in with the primer water. And the pink. I don't really go for pink eyeshadow, so I think this is fun. Um, so, quick update. I'm doing a summer camp for acting in the songs from the plays stuck in my head so if i just like randomly start singing so this pink isn't as pigmented and yes i know it's a little messy but it's i mean it's okay it's just not as poppy as i thought it would be but now we're going to go into the crease shade the gold and i love a good gold shade Our gloves are so pretty. i love gold eyeshadow it's probably one of my favorite eyeshadow colors because I just think gold's so pretty. Oh, yes. I love gold. And I feel like the gold and the pink blend so pretty together. It was. And I got some gold in the pink. It's okay. Everything's going to work out. I'm going to go clean this up and I'll be right back. So this is how it turned out. Um, the pink was just not really that easy to work with. The gold, and it's like, uh, the gold always like overpowered it. So I like keep switching off and I like can't really work with the pink that well. I also have pink on my brow bone. Wow, that's embarrassing. Okay, so now I'm going to take the brow bone color, put it on my brow bone. gorgeous and then the brow bone goes into the inner corner if I ever use this palette again which I probably will because I really like it I probably won't use the purple or maybe I'll use it in like in a crease I don't know how you would have got this to behave all over your eyelid but yeah. so now we're going to go do the other eye let's so as you can tell, it's a little different. Um, I'm gonna talk about that in a minute, but the pink in the palette just was very hard to me to use. I had to like wet the whole thing. Um, but the other two, these two colors were really good. This one was a little one, so it's okay. Like, honestly, the pink isn't the best, but if you want to use it for just these three, I mean, it's only $3, so I mean, you're not really wasting anyway. So it was pretty good. Um, now I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in Gilded Wings, which is a metallic gold and kind of just dot 
So I'm going to start with like below and create dots. You can do whatever you want with this liner. You can create like a halo, but I'm not that talented. So I can't really do a lot. Um, I'm horrible at liquid liner. Like I have the brown black mega liner. So as you can tell, it looks kind of crazy and both eyes are different. Of course, if I was actually wearing this out, I would have tried harder, but yeah. And of course it will look better with mascara cause like everything looks better with mascara. And I mean, it draw drew pretty easily. Look at the inner corner, love it. I mean, I really like how it turned out. It did take a lot of effort, but yeah. And I just needed to use this gold eyeliner, which I did like. So now for blush, I'm going to take Dare to Soar, which is the dark, dark pink. And I just thought this would kind of match the pink color. Maybe you can do this on the lid instead. But I'm just going to go on with a super light hand because we knew how it would be. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at that. Really pretty. Definitely need to go on with a light hand because it's so pigmented. But it's a really pretty, like, wash of magenta, kind of. Look at that. It's so pretty. And my eyeliner is not ruined, and I'm, like, brushing over it. Oh, good job, boy, wow. So, yeah. I like it. Really pretty. Maybe it works better than the other shade. Look, look. Very pretty. Um, definitely probably swatches better than the other shade. But, like, if you buy this, you can use this to recreate this look. Maybe. I don't know what I'm saying. Lip gloss we're going with is Shut the Pluck Up, which I definitely need to do because I talk a lot. But just a dark purple to kind of match the berry. Again, formula is really good. I'm not a big purple lip fan. I look super crazy with my gold eyeliner. Purple lip. But I mean, it's so comfortable. I could keep lathering this on. And again, no way sponsored, no way sent. Bought this. Look at it. Gorgeous. Really pretty. Fun, like, tropical-y look. So, yeah. I'm going to take this off, and I'll be right back. I was going to put this on top of last ones, but I'm just going to do it right now. This is Fly Girl. And this is probably what I would wear either every day or on top of, like, a pinkier lipstick. It's just a perfect like, little pink nude lip gloss. Pretty. I like it. Okay, so now we're going to get into... I don't know where this one went. The last look. And if you thought last look was bold, went to this look. Because we're using the one in Hasta La Costa, baby. Yes. Yes. We are going out of Michaela's comfort zone today. I'm going to take the transition shade like always again. Super kickbacky. I did also find that the brow bone shade last time had a bit of kickback as well. But it was so soft, like, that it crumbled. So, I mean, I think one of mine was doing a really good job on this collection. Maybe work on the mattes a little more. This is a really gorgeous transition shade. It's a little bit darker i would say than last time so man look how much okay so that was quite a lot i don't know if it's because i'm using like a fluffier brush but yeah and you can like see the dust on my face oh i don't know why i put it on this side we'll just leave it that's fine oh i don't know why i closed it i'm not okay so we're going in with the crease shade right now this dark purple hopefully it doesn't behave like doing what it is. I'm going to spray some into my cap just to dip it in. Okay, so we're going to start with the finger. I'm so excited. Oh, looks so pretty and galactic. Okay. So far, this is working better than the purple pink. And yes, I know I smudged it. I'm so bad. I like smudge everything onto that outer part. So I'm going to go ahead, wet the brush a little. 
so pretty. Oh my god. It reminds me of like a blueberry kind of color because it's like kind of bluish and like purple. Blueberries are kind of blue or purple, right? Anyone know what I'm talking about? No? Okay. Well, that's what it kind of reminds me of. Like, is it like a blueberry? So, this is what it looks like. So pretty pigmented. Definitely have to clean it up. But we're going to do that in a while. Not a while. In a second. Because first we're going to take the eyelid color. The bright teal. I was going to call it blue. Mermaid kind of color. This is like the mermaid palette. But wasn't the mermaid collection a different thing? So pigmented. Like I didn't think I would like this, these colors. Or I didn't think they would work as well. But heck. They work very, very well. Can like mix the two and get like the perfect middle shade to blend it. Oof, I think this um primer water is burning my eyes. Hm. Oh, I'm gonna clean up this, be right back. So, this is how it looks it's definitely bold and out of my comfort zone. It looks very dark, kind of like it. We're gonna take the brow bone shade, which is the whitish, creamy color, on the brow bone. I really like these brow bone shades, they're really pretty. Now I'm going to go in with my fingy. And don't worry, the Paris Hilton contour kit's coming. I just wanted to like unpackage this and I want to... So pretty. Gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back. So, yes I know I look kind of stupid because of my green eyebrows, but I just, I'm horrible at liquid eyeliner. I always get so shaky. And yeah, so I actually love, love, love this eyeshadow look. This is probably one of my favorite palettes, except for the magician shade was just so kickbacky. Like I have so much fallout on my carpet right now. Just one of the transition shades. But I mean like this, this did not even need the wet brush. This is so good without it. This one was good without it too, but I recommend it with a wet brush. It just performs better. And yeah. So now I'm going to take the, um, this is the plain mega liner in Winged and Wild. And I get what they're trying to do. Like, it's supposed to be, like, green, like, the plants. But, like, really, I don't think anyone needs a green eyeliner. So if you weren't to buy the box, I don't think the green eyeliner is worth it. But... I like the box, I messed up right there. But this does really work well. So if you do like green eyeliner, like liquid dark green eyeliner, you can use this. As you can tell, my brows are very interesting. Like I have like this right there, which is like dark down more. Yeah, like, yeah. But yeah, I did like the gold eyeliner. I wanna try to use that more. Oh my God, we're using this. No offense, what I want. Really good stuff, but like. Really green eyeliner. Now for the blush, we are taking Hummingbird Hype, which I think this is the one that all the YouTubers love. And it looks like a highlighter, kind of a gold with like pinky tone. So it's like not a rose gold, it's like a gold rose. Uh -huh. But I'm going to use it as a blush take, because that's what you're supposed to use it as. And this might have a little bit of pink left on it, but pish posh. I've been saying pish posh lately, and I do not know what. Yeah, this is probably better as a highlighter, but it gives like such a pretty highlight to all your all over your cheek. I'm gonna highlight my nose with it. My upper cupid's bow thing. Really pretty. I like it kind of as like a blush, cause like it just makes like your whole cheek look glowy. I yeah, I just can't take myself seriously with my green eyebrows. I think I went too far right there. <laughs> it's fine. Really, really gorgeous. Lastly is lips, and we wanted to go nude for the lips. So we're going to take Featherless, which is just a nude. It is on the pinky tone, but it's not as pinky as the Fly Girl. Again, formula is really good. It does have a smell. Really light though, and not like a distinct cell. 
really like this nude lip gloss. Gonna wear this like every day. But yes, we've finished the look. And I have to say, I really like this. It's definitely worth it because you do see $20. stuff just fell out but yeah honestly if you weren't to get the box because you think it's a waste you're not gonna use it all i think the eyeshadow is very good um i think the first one was really good this one was okay the pink was not that good but the third one was good as well lip scrub was good i didn't really test out the primer water. if you need a green eyeliner go ahead the gold eyeliner was pretty lip glosses were really good my favorite was um pout of paradise the blushes were also really pretty if you enjoy a good shimmery highlighter blush. You're going to like these. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, see you guys later. Bye.